This is Mike Masidio here with another Conversation for a Cause. Today I'm sitting down with Yvonne Ayasiga. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. All right, we're talking here talking about malaria. Now, you've personally had malaria. Tell us about your personal experience with it. Um, I My earliest uh, time I can remember having malaria was when I was like probably seven or eight. And it wasn't really good. You know, I came back home from school with a very high temperature. I was throwing up. I had lots of appetite. And my parents took me to the hospital immediately. And the doctor drew my blood and tested it and found malaria parasites. So I was able to get on malaria medication right away. So... So that possibly kind of like saved your life, and you've had. You said earlier you've had it multiple times. How many times do you think you've had it? Ah, uh, if I can remember well, three, four times. Now, so now it's kind of like the common cold over there. I mean, you go. You obviously you caught it early enough. You went and got the medicine. You feel mm-hmm. better. It just sounds like kind of like when we go in for the flu or kind of a cold sort of deal. Is that kind of how it is over there? You know, you're bitten by mosquitoes probably pretty often. I know I do during the summertime here in Iowa. Right. Well, the reason why I kind of compare malaria to a common cold in the U.S. is that uh, everyone catches a cold in the United States just the way, just like everyone catches malaria in Africa because mosquitoes are everywhere in Africa. So, yeah, everyone catches malaria there. And um, I think that's why sometimes people do not take it very serious and it continues to kill people that way. But if people really took it serious and took steps and measures to prevent it even before they catch it so many lives would be saved exactly a child dies every 60 seconds of malaria what are some of the things that you and your family did growing up to kind of prevent malaria uh, we boiled all our drinking water. We never drank any stagnant or unboiled tap water. Uh, we cleared all the bushes, like all the vegetation around our house. Um, we slept under treated mosquito nets. We still, even when I went home in the summer of 2011, I slept under treated mosquito net. And uh, that's one of the very many or the simplest things people can do in Africa to actually put an end to malaria, sleeping under treated uh, mosquito nets. How hard are these to come by? I know you hear about all these different groups that go out there, they're against the malaria, and they get these nets. How how widespread is it? Do they get out to a lot of the population, or is it only certain groups? I mean, is the is it as widespread mm-hmm. as these groups say they're spreading the help they're giving? Uh, I could say that um, in the city, in the city areas, all in the the urban centers are. Um, People can afford to get uh, these mosquito nets, but the problem lies in the remote, in the rural areas where people do not make as much because uh, roughly on average, um, a treated mosquito net costs around five US dollars. And that is a lot of money to some people in the rural areas that don't work or, you know, have, you know, very limited sources of income. So what this help that has been coming in has been geared to is um, providing these free treated mosquito nets to people that cannot afford them. So you're talking about just simple $5 makes a difference. And that's just it a huge sure thing. Does, I mean, yeah. I, you know, when you look at your paycheck and you kind of groan, I mean, it kind of <laughs> shows how the sure. difference between – what we have here in the U.S. and what some of these other countries around definitely. the world have. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Five dollars goes a long way. I remember one time at Open Bible Church, um, they put up a campaign, like uh, a fundraising uh, for people to donate five dollars because five dollars buys a treated mosquito net. And this uh, well-treated mosquito net can last two, three, four years. All you have to do is just wash it and, you know, keep reusing it. And some of these mosquito nets are really large enough that, you know, you can have two or three children sleep under it every night and you're saving two or three lives with just five dollars exactly well i want to thank you for coming out today you're welcome thank you for having me this has been another conversation for a cause i'd like to thank you guys for listening and once again if you want to help eradicate malaria visit warpbrick.edu slash malaria or 60 seconds to change.com and come see 60 seconds to change on thursday april 11th at two o'clock in the lyceum on warpbrick's campus